Um, you're probably both aware of, of Niels Bohr's position. Physics is to be regarded not so much as the study of something a priori given, but rather as the development of methods of ordering and surveying human experience. So it's right. less finding the photon that's actually there and, and more um, making sense of those lines as a picture of an old woman or a young woman. Yeah. What's, what's your take on, on Bohr's position? Well, I think we, we actually, in deference to time, I'll say we, we sort of covered that in talking about the Copenhagen interpretation of, of physics. I mean, it was, he was the, the originator of that interpretation. And, uh, you know, the, the, the sense at that point, when, when, when quantum mechanics was first being born, there was a very strong sense that the universe was more mind-like than matter-like based on that view of things. And, you know, feel free to correct me if I'm, I'm wrong here, but I feel like the conversation at the very least has, has widened and moved on and it, we're not quite there with, with Bohr's take on it. You know? Yeah, the one thing I would add to that is, you know, Bohr, Bohr had a view of the world which is aligning with what you're saying is ultimately science is about explaining observations and data. It's not about peeling back the curtain and seeing the fundamental reality. And I think Bohr was forced into that position by virtue of the fact that he couldn't peel back the curtain and quantum mechanics was working and yet he was unable to tell us what it was telling us about the true nature of reality so he said don't worry about the true nature of that's not what physics is about and i think it's a very limited way of looking at science i'm not so interested in being able to only predict the results of experiments i like that that's the gold standard. But in the end of the day, when I'm on my deathbed, I hope that I have some deeper understanding of what's reality, of what's behind that curtain. And if all that we're doing is being better able at predicting results of experiments to further decimal places down the line, I'd rather be doing something else. 